My arm is running out of blood. Disclaimer, this is not how to develop film. This is just me doing it for the first time and I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm an official hipster. Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Theodore here and today we're gonna be doing something really fun something really interesting. We are gonna be developing film today and I've actually never developed film ever. And I decided to do it because I bu actually bought the um, film development chemicals last year. Or it was sometime this year. I, I bought it a long, long time ago and I've always kept it just hidden in that um, film drawer thing cabinet whatever it is and I've never done anything to it so um, I've been slowly buying the supplies and um, I've also asked my dad to keep some wine bottles for me because I did not want to buy any amber jars because they're expensive on Amazon they're like three for forty dollars I've gotten those and then I also was waiting for like like a relatively cheap film development canister because a lot of them on Amazon was like 30 40 dollars I mean mine wasn't too cheap it came with something else that made the deal a little bit better so that's why I actually bought it but it wasn't like super good deal that I bought I bought it used and it's a metal reel and then this is this is the exciting part we are gonna be also developing that film roll that I purchased last year with a camera that I thrifted at the Goodwill outlet and I know all of you guys have been really curious about what that film roll looks like and actually I am too because I just want to know if that roll was actually series of murder pictures or whatever because I personally am terrified if I actually bought somebody's like murder film roll you know like if somebody was I don't know like say Ted Bundy or somebody. I, I don't think that role is that old, but I think latest is probably like 90s. I don't know. I'm just really curious about that role and I'm sure you guys are too. So we're going to be developing that film role. Because I'm not quite sure if there's any pictures on that role, I'm actually going to take a picture with another camera and I'm not quite sure which one yet, but we're going to be taking pictures with that camera also. But before we get started, I just want to show you guys three pieces that Ana Luisa sent me. If you guys don't know Ana Luisa, Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that uses recycled materials. And that's why I love buying from them because I don't feel guilty and I feel like I'm not using that much more carbon in the world. I'm leaving less carbon footprint. With these pieces, it's made of recycled sterling silver, recycled gold, and they make beautiful pieces and they're all really really affordable right now they're having a buy one get one 40 percent off i don't know if by the time you guys are watching this if it's still there but regardless they're having a sale for black friday and i will have a link down below to link you guys to the sales so i got this earring right here it's called the rocks earring it's like sterling silver plated with gold this is the sia earring it's a safety pin earring made out of sterling silver and plated in gold and the reason being i like to choose a lot of stuff that is sterling silver or plated in gold is because i am terribly allergic to anything that is not either hypoallergenic or like made of real gold or real silver so <clears throat> that is why i chose these and they have worked for me very well and if you guys didn't know if you guys are new to my channel i actually pierced my ears earlier this year and i have been wearing these Ana luisa earrings ever since um, so for example, this heart one is sterling silver and also plated in gold and I've been wearing it for months. So and then this earring I bought a couple months later and it's like a studded earring. It's just like a round ball and it has like a twist cap on the back, which I really like because 
Um, I go to sleep with these earrings and sometimes I just don't want them to fall out and they stay on really well. They also sent me this bracelet. This is called the Umma or Uma bracelet and it's made of sterling silver and then plated with 14 karat gold. Love this. Oh my gosh, it matches really well with my other Ana Luisa bracelet that I've been wearing for months. This is, I don't think they sell this one anymore. It's called the Stronger Together bracelet. It's for the COVID-19 frontliners. <laughs> Jack is here. <laughs> come here, honey. Come here, come here, come here. This is Winnie. Hi, guy. Welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie here. And today, we're going to be talking about the different types of dog treats and which one doggies don't like, so never buy, okay? Um, I don't even know what I was talking about, but I think I was talking about bracelets. Um, I really like cute and dainty stuff, uh, and I just really, really like this one, so... Anyways, I'll link everything down in the description box below that I got from Ana Luisa. And uh, thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for sending me all these cute jewelries. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe and like button if you like this video already. And um, if you want more content like this, please let me know down below what you guys want to watch. Okie dokie. All right. Okay, let's go. just in case that roll of film doesn't have any pictures on it, I am going to be taking pictures on my Yashica AW Mini. And I have it taped up because this film compartment right here falls off. I just think this camera is very broken. <gasps> What's going on? Goodbye film. Okay, I'm gonna be playing with this camera instead. I, it's a really cheap Fujifilm camera. I'm gonna use this um, Fuji Color ISO 200 that I also got a very long time ago from the thrift store. I'm just using all of these old ones today, I guess. It says use Fuji Color, so. Okay, we're gonna be taking pictures with this one and then develop it later along with the other one if the other one doesn't have any pictures. Let go. Hello everybody, we are down in my basement now and we are gonna be developing film. So, a couple things that I got. This black bag where you put your film in, everything that you need inside of this bag, and then you reel it in and everything. And I think this is gonna be useful because a lot of the times my Polaroid camera jams. So I could use this to put my Polaroid camera in and take the film out so that way my film does not get exposed and I don't lose a picture. Okay. So before we do everything, I must clean out these wine bottles because I haven't cleaned them yet. Ah! As you guys can see, I have my tools and stuff ready. I have this roll of film. I got this roll of film last year when we went thrift shopping. You and I, we, us, we went thrift shopping. I actually went around and took pictures with this Fujifilm Zoom Date 60 Easy. It's just a really basic camera. It was really fun to use. It was really easy to use. And we're gonna be developing those pictures as well. I mean, at least I hope I developed the pictures. I really don't know if this will work or not, but let's all hope that it works. I know my bun is like crazy. So currently we have this black bag that I will be putting my arms in. Disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. This is my experience.
experience developing film for the first time. Um, I'm gonna put everything inside of the bag. Ooh, it's like a really sturdy bag. And then I'm gonna put this, these stuff inside and I'm gonna take this out as well. Um, and then we are gonna zip it up, close it up, and put this on. This one's made out of like a khaki uh, cotton material, but we're gonna, oh my gosh, do they, how big do they think my arm is? It's tight. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so tight. Doing the stuff by memory. I mean, <laughs> this is hard. Okay, it's like, I'm in. I'm in, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm I feel like no blood going through my arms right now. I feel like blockage of circulation. This is harsh, guys. Okay, ho hopefully I still have an arm by the end of this. I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. Okay, I'm doing this all by feel. I have no idea if I'm even doing it right. Normally people have um, film canister openers, but I didn't buy one. I should have bought one. This is harder to open than I had imagined. I don't know if I'm getting it. It's not even budging. Come on. Ow, that hurt. I need something better. It's not really working what I'm doing right now. Ah, my arm is running out of blood. There's like two of these cuffs. So there's like one out here and then one inside too. Okay, I can do this because the film isn't actually out yet. But look at that, look, look at that, look. Do you see that? Do you see the slime? I feel like there's really no mobility in my arm. Where's the pliers? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Open sesame. Come on, open for me, please. Des ne. I got it. I'm in. I'm in. I wish you guys could see it or at least feel it because I can't even see it. The video that I watched a couple years ago said to snip the beginning part off okay am I in? yeah I can tell why people say the metal one although it is more authentic it's very hard because I really can't tell if I've slipped the film in yet or not I think I did I think yeah Where is this? I'm gonna end up destroying this film before I even get the reel on. I honestly should have gotten the plastic container. This is a bit too hard. Hey Siri! Hey Siri! Phoenix, your creative part. No. Guys, I'm having a hard time. Hey Siri, search how to put film in a... One second, it's telling me. Now I'm tired and I'm losing blood circulation on my hand. I'm really debating on if I should just buy the Patterson. Sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. Forget it. People made this metal thing for a reason, right? It should work. Hey Siri. Okay, I found this on the web through insert film in metal canister. Check it out. Uh, oh, it's gone. Okay, <laughs> I did something and I don't know if it'll work or not, but 
We will try. Oh my gosh. Guys, do you see how tight this thing is? Holy crap. I'm gonna open it up now. See what it looks like. Uh, I have, I was about to give up on this thing. Just like, whatever, screw it. I'm just gonna wait until another day. See, this is the film that I cut out. Real deal is in here, but my question is, now I need to Google how to insert film in. Okay, so this lady is doing it. Okay, let's see what you did. Oh, I need to redo it. I don't think I'm supposed to go up that far. I think I'm just supposed to go down here, kind of like this, where my hands are able to move a little bit easily. Or Okay, let's go put some chemicals in it. So this is a chemical that we are gonna be working with. It is the Unicolor C41 powder kit. And since it's a powder, I think I'm gonna wear a mask because these are chemicals and it is harsh for you. So I'm just gonna open it up to see what's inside. <laughs> okay, so I'm wearing my mask now because I didn't realize by upon opening this is so um, strong. Place 800 milliliter of water at 110 Fahrenheit into a clean glass or plastic container while stirring. Add the contents of the packet marked developer. Stir well. Okay, so we got a couple things here. So the first thing I got is the developer, the Blix. Oh, Blix A and Blix B, and then stabilizer. Oh, I can smell whatever it is going through. So I already boiled some water, but it says it wants it at 110 degrees, 800 milliliters of water. 120 right now, so. Dropping slowly. Okay, I'm gonna take some water out though, cause it's a lot of water. I'm gonna dump it into this plastic, this uh, this jar, this wine container. Oh my God, it's too much. <laughs> ah, um, too much water. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Are you a thousand ml? This is only 750 milliliters. This is one liter, okay. This will work better. Okay, and this is what this is for. Keep it in hot water so that it could stay warm. It's about 110 degrees. I'm gonna keep it in there. And while I do that, I'm gonna go find more containers so I could mix up these other stuff. And I've got some containers with me. I got this. This is the only thing I could find that was 100 or 1,000 milliliters or one liter. I'm, I guess I'm still gonna use these bottles, but then I also found these um, water bottles. So we're gonna make it work, guys. My uh, developer is still in the solution, so we'll leave it there. But, wee wee. 
Woo wee, yeah, you are hot, man. I'm gonna get some cold water. Not quite too. I need it to get to 110. Almost there, 140. Okay. And then, I'm. Um, to mix in Blix A and then Blix B. This in here so I know the temperature of that. Okay. Mix, 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 mix. Okay, Blix B is gonna be interesting. I wonder if the color changes. Oh, this is like yellow. Oh, it does change the color. What? You guys see it? It's doing some sort of chemical reaction. Gosh, this looks like Coke, guys. What is going on? No. Okay, since I have to get it up to a thousand milliliters anyway, so. Stabilizer. Ding. Ding. Mix it up. Stabilizer. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna put it in here. Temperature is about 100 degrees right now. I'm gonna pour some of this water out. It's super duper hot. Okay, so I have the all of the chemicals right now. They're all labeled and they're just sitting in this bath of warm water at a hundred and five degrees. The instruction says that it should be around a hundred and ten degrees so I think I'm gonna have to put more hot water in there. The temperature right now is currently a hundred and two degrees so I'm gonna pour some more hot water in here. Is it 110? Beautiful, that's what I want. 110 degrees. Okay, so I need to first make a pre-soak. Is, is there a packet called pre-soak in here? I don't think so. I think pre-soak is just water? Yeah, still too cold. I mean, too hot. Still too hot. Okay, so I've put in some cooler water. 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Yay, we're good. So let's get started. Two minutes. And while we wait, I listen to some music because it's so quiet down here. Okay, now 
I dump it out. <gasps> it's purple. <laughs> Now I pour in my developer and I leave it in there for about a hundred, no, I leave it in there for three minutes and five, three minutes and a half. Close the lid and I'm still leave it in here. Close the lid. Hey Siri, start a timer for three minutes and a half. Your timer is set for three minutes and 30 seconds. Continue, I agitate it for 30 seconds, 10 seconds. Can I see the timer? I think so. Okay, I've been keeping it pretty darn warm in here. I'm gonna put this in. Oh shoot. gonna just be pouring the chemicals back into the bottle. Eeks. I'm gonna pour this back into the bottle. Put that aside and then I need to put it under running water. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty stoked about this. So the stabilizer can be room temperature. I think that should be good now. All right, and then the stabilizer, I can pour that in. Agitate for the first 15 seconds. 13, 14, 15. I'll give it a bonus. 18, 19, 20. I don't think I did anything. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, I developed film. Oh my gosh, I don't even know why I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> oh my god, guys! I'm an official hipster! Oh god! Oh my god, guys. Oh my gosh. And now I let it dry. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Oh my god. I did it. I did it, mom. I made it. Oh, there's some of them that didn't do too well. Uh, it's like the first couple of them because I didn't know how to really put the, the reel in, but these last couple ones look pretty nice. Hey, look, mom, I made it. Do -do 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 -do.
Today is Friday the 13th and I just feel like I don't have any energy. Hmm. It doesn't taste too bad, but it's really rooty and herby. I'm really hungry, so before we film the outro, I just gotta eat because I <laughs> don't know what to say when I'm not full. Okay, so it's like a day or two after. I got so tired after developing that film. And I'm actually not gonna show you guys what the roll of film looked from the thrifted camera because this video is just so long and I just wanna keep you guys on your toes a little bit longer. So I'm not gonna show you guys what it is. I hope that you guys take it with a grain of salt of me processing and developing everything. This was just my experience and how I have done it, but um, obviously I'm an amateur and I don't really know how to do it and I've got to learn a lot lot more and it's gonna take a lot more film rolls for me to get better but I think that's the beauty of it it's really fun to just you know experiment with these type of things nowadays and now that we're stuck at home a little bit more this is um, something that I could tackle now because usually I'm always like out and about doing stuff and now that I'm at home a little bit more I can do this because I have time and I'm not gonna lie it wasn't too hard like the only hard thing was keeping the temperature at 110 and then also getting the film out of the film canister and also processing okay that's like basically everything but it wasn't entirely like it wasn't way too hard to do like a lot of the videos on there was like you need to keep it at exactly this temperature and then you need to agitate it exactly this many times I mean uh, maybe there's a reason for that but from my experience and over agitating a lot of the stuff it didn't look out it didn't turn out too bad we were able to see the film that was processed from the Fujifilm zoom date 60 easy so we are going to be looking at the pictures through Lomography Smartphone Film Scanner. This is what came with the film canister that made it a little bit of a better deal. But I've used this before. It's okay. It's not great, but we're going to try. And then I also have this app called Filmbox. And basically what it is is it'll process these negatives for me. So I don't have to do it in like Photoshop or um, some extravagant uh, software. <laughs> Guys. Mm. Okay. It is what it is. Okay, so I've kind of sort of processed the film. This is not a legit way to process film, by the way, guys. Um, I just really wanted to give this a try. It's really hard to use, um, but I think I'm missing something. So it's supposed to be relatively easy, but the only problem I'm having now is like it's cropping it in weird places. But I mean, like I, I kind of get the gist of it. Um, I mean, I know I took pictures. I was able to develop the pictures. And so that's kind of all I really wanted to know. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to work on this so, so much more. Like, um, I don't know. I need to learn how to process the film a li little bit better. This is really, really, really blurry. When he just grabbed my underwear and ran. Okay, I am on Photoshop right now, but I'm only using it for the white background. Okay, this is hard, guys. The freaking roll of film is so curvy. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna f open the pictures really fast. Okay, I'm gonna have to rasterize it. Yay! You guys can't see it, but it's there! Okay, so as you guys can see, it's gonna take a long time and I have to play around with 
the um, uh, adjustments a little bit more but overall that's kind of how it looks like I just really want to know if I am able to process and develop film by myself I am able to not efficiently not professionally but there's something you know so um, yeah that's gonna be it guys and um, the rest of the pictures I'm actually just gonna be using the app on my phone to process everything it's faster it's a lot easier I just want you guys to know what the pictures look like so my hair is dirty I need to wash my hair anyways that is it guys we have developed film we have process the film kind of sort of and now all we got to do is look at the pictures now I must admit the pictures don't look too great they're okay in my opinion um, I mean I'm not a professional this is my first time ever developing film so I mean for what it is it's pretty good um, it's just I gotta learn how to process film a little bit better and more efficiently and so I don't spend like two three hours on it last time I when I was developing that film, I started around, I think I did around 6, I stopped for a little bit, came back at 9 at night, and I didn't finish until midnight. So it took me forever to, to develop that film, but I think it was all very worthwhile. Now at least I can go to the thrift store, buy a thrifted camera, and if that camera has film inside, I can take it out and develop it and potentially see... Ooh, Okay, I'm like watching a cake baking tutorial so the music is on I didn't even realize it. I'm a little bit terrified sometimes when I get those film canisters that somebody had taken decades ago. I'm kind of iffy if I want to develop the film because it could be from a murder scene or it could be something that is, I don't know, horrendous. Will I ever stop sending my pictures to the photo lab? Probably not uh, because I'm not a professional and I don't really know what I'm doing a lot of the times and I don't want to risk getting my pictures ruined. I will still continue sending my pictures to the photo lab. At least I know now that I can do it myself. It's not too hard. I think anybody can do this. It's all a matter of patience and uh, having time to do it. Uh, I highly recommend that you guys give it a try. Just know that this is not cheap. Like. The black bag was $30, the film canister compartment, the metal thing, whatever it is called, was $32, but I, the only way I could justify it was that it came with this Lomography film scanner thing that kind of sort of works. It doesn't really work too well, so I don't really recommend it, but it's good. I mean, I got two things for the price of one Ugh, wh whatever it is what it is I do recommend the plastic film developing canister though it just seems a lot easier to reel the picture into the reel as opposed to this metal one this one's gonna take a lot of practicing um, just because you have to feel it and you can't just twist it you know you have to like feel it if it's in each of these grooves yet yeah. it just takes a lot of practice if you want it more authentic this is the way to go but if you want it easier you should get the Patterson film development canister and then also processing I'm not good at processing um, obviously all the pictures that you guys have seen is just horrible the pictures are either way overexposed they're like very blurry very pixelated this is not the way to process film professionally if you wanted to, if you want to process film professionally you should look up a video for that there's plenty of it on the internet um but that this is just not the way of doing it but at least this is more for like reference for me to know that i actually have pictures and the pictures actually kind of look pretty decent i highly highly recommend doing this yourself at home now that everybody is stuck at home every day anyways why not give this a try also if you guys are interested in the ana luisa black friday deal i have the link down below in the description box and if you guys like this video please do give a thumbs up and also i have other social medias on my instagram facebook twitter tiktok follow me on those it's the same handle it's theodore so i'll see you guys on there and that's gonna be pretty much it for this video today um today is friday the 13th guys crazy right anyway 
I will see you guys next time. Adios!